What? I am personally am completely shocked. I mean, I believe the whole entire world is completely shocked, yo. Completely shocked. I cannot believe. I cannot believe this shit. I, I, yeah, you, you just don't understand. I cannot believe this. Paul mother freaking George is playing for OKC now. I did not see this coming. I believe no one seen this coming. Like, hold on. Let me take a sip right here. Paul George, you deserve it. Bad for health. Don't drink this stuff. It's bad for you. But um, I cannot believe Paul George went to OKC. That is crazy. That is beyond crazy. I never would have thought. Well, he didn't win. He was traded. And I believe the Pacers got beat the deep out of that trade. So I believe it's a win-win situation for OKC because Paul George, he can be resigned there. Y'all can build something. Or if he decides to leave next year. At least y'all not stuck with Victor Oladipo in this stupid contract. But Oladipo, really, he really sucks, to be honest. But uh, that's crazy, yo. I did not expect that to happen. I mean, the world is shot. I mean, people are gunning for Golden State. I don't even think people are gunning, gunning so much for Cleveland. People are gunning. I feel like if you can take, if you can knock out Golden State, there's be no doubt in my mind you should be a knockout Cleveland in the world. People are gunning for the Warriors, man. People are gunning for the word. The West are freaking stacked. The Timberwolves just got Jimmy Butler out from the draft from the trade. Then they just got Jeff T. Y'all know he had Jeff T. He is in, he, he is in the point guard he used to be. He once was in Atlanta. But, you know, he's still a better point guard than, you know, any just random free agent guard you guys that signed with no type of better experience. You got a better point guard. You got Andrew Wiggins, Carl Anthony Towns, and now you got Jimmy Butler. That team won 31 games, lost 50 last year, if I'm not mistaken. Now... That team's gonna be so much more improved. And then you got Chris Paul. He just um he he uh um, he's played for Houston now. He signed with them for a trade. I don't remember how when it went down. He plays for Houston now. And they got James Harden, Chris Paul, you got Eric Gordon come out of the bench. You got players. If Houston was already good, I believe Houston had the third seed, I believe. Houston was already good. You got Chris Paul to the play. You got you a better point guard. You got Patrick Beverly no more, but you got you a better point guard now. Like a way better point guard who can, he's an all around guard. Chris Paul can do it all. You know, he can do it all, man. He definitely ought to get teammates involved. Now, that, well, we're not, you know, we're not here to talk about that. But I'm just basically saying how stacked the West is now. And uh, what's another team I can think of? The Rockets, the Timberwolves. Um, um, oh, and then this just happened when Paul was playing for. Playing with Westbrook, Go Westbrook is my hands on my favorite point guard of all time. Westbrook is my favorite point guard. Man. Westbrook playing along with Paul George is gonna be crazy. I cannot wait to see how that duo is gonna play. But I do have to talk about stuff. We're not gonna, we're not gonna, gonna just you know go based off the hype. Just think, oh, well, they're gonna win five rings together. You know, blah, that squad and this, that, the third. I don't see Paul George and Westbrook winning. And if Paul George decides to leave next year. I don't see them winning the ring this year. That's not. That's not. I mean, that's realistically speaking, you would think OKC is gonna win the ring this year just because Paul George went to them. No, and I don't think it's happening. No, not ever. You know, if Paul George decides to stay with OKC, then we'll see how OKC can build a squad. You know, with those with those two stars. But for now, I don't see that. But I do see them doing better things than they did this year. Oh, with that team, I feel like that team definitely win more games and get. I can see OKC getting a. Top five spot in the playoffs. Definitely top five spot. Um, definitely top five seed. I mean, the West are fucking stacked. People are gunning for Golden State, man. People are gunning for Golden State. They really are. And for the East, Hawks, it's our time, bro. Atlanta, is our time, man. It, 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 no better time than now. All these superstars are going out, going to the West. Let's just go ahead and, you know, start. Let's just start winning some games, man. There was no doubt in my mind, the Hawks definitely don't go out to the playoffs. I, I honestly don't. I mean, we traded the White House. But we're, we're not talking about that. What I'm basically saying is, LeBron for the cakewalk to the, to the finals once again because there ain't nobody in the East to build no superstar team. Notice the last superstar team that actually gave LeBron a threat was, excuse me, the daggone freaking Celtics. I mean, that's when they had KG, Ray Allen, Paul, George, Rondo. Ever since then, LeBron's just been cake walking his ass to the finals, man. Honestly, there's no team that can compete with the Cavs in the East. There's no team that can really compete with the Cavs. I, I don't see it. Any team that comes close to compete with the Cavs, I would think it would have to be Boston. I 
don't think you have to be boss. Well, it depends on what boss does. Well, I, that's the closest thing, honestly. I don't know that. I can't see another team. Toronto ain't definitely going to compete with the Cavs. Hell no. But anyways, man, it's crazy. I just want to get this off my mind. It's a quick little rant, man. Paul just going to trade it to OKC, man. Shout out to Westbrook and all the OKC fans. I know you guys are pretty excited to see what that duo is going to do with OKC, man. Could be could, could be another, you know, crazy tandem duo together. We'll, we'll just have to wait and see. This NBA season is going to be crazy. I can't wait, man. Football, I was already anticipating football to come in. Now the NBA is going to start back up. It's crazy. I cannot wait. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a like, comment, rate, and subscribe. You guys let me know in the comment section. You guys let me know you guys' thoughts on this whole trade. Do you guys like the trade? Do you guys don't like the trade? What do you guys see them doing together? You know, let me know in the comment section. Other than that, man, let this video fade on now. I'm out. Peace.